Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to Wild Eye Wednesday. Now today we're going to be talking about Runaway Nightmare. Unrated. But before I get into my review, I wanted to take the time to thank Wild Eye for sending me this copy to review for you guys. They have an awesome company. They are definitely where it's at with independent horror. I'm going to put the links to their YouTube channel and their official website in the description box below. Definitely check them out. Runaway Nightmare is a 2018 film which runs approximately 45 minutes and is directed by Dustin Ferguson. Now he was responsible for Amityville Clown House, Amityville Toy Box, and let's just keep it Amityville with Amityville in space. <laughs> now this star is Ronnie Angel as Ronnie. Uh, he was in Tales from the Living Dead or Grave of the Living Dead, I do believe is what it's called. That's the other name. Rattlers 2, and VHS Violence. Clint Beaver as Charlie Smith. He was in Apex Predators, Ebola Rex, and Arachnado. And Rose Donahue as a news reporter. She was in Chameleon, Fright Vision, and Prey. This film was shot in five hours. <laughs> and, um, all right, let's, uh, the film itself was shot in five hours, but I'll explain that in a second. Um, I have not been the biggest fan of Dustin Ferguson, and I'm going to say that now. But I'm going to tell you guys something. This is the type of film that he should be doing. This one and the one that I'm going to review next, because I watched them both around the same time. Okay, A Runaway Nightmare is about a girl who is getting tries to get raped by her stepfather, tries to rape her. So she runs away. And she is picked up by a bunch of people who want to have a satanic ritual with her for a certain reason. I'm going to leave the plot there. Um, like I said, it's 45 minutes. It's not really much to it. But here's where... In my opinion, Dustin Ferguson just blew me away. This is done like an after-school special. So you have the old VHS sort of look to it. It's full screen. It's not widescreen. And you have all of these commercials. So basically what you're doing is it's almost like you're watching a television program with commercials around Halloween. And for me... That was so nostalgic and so well done. The film was done like an after-school special, which they weren't done that well anyway. So it really hit the nostalgic button for me. And I'll have to say that this is my favorite type of Dustin Ferguson film. I have seen others by him that I didn't mind that much. I mean, I didn't mind Amityville Clown House and Amityville Toy Box. I knew they're pretty universally hated, but I actually didn't hate them. I've seen worse, um, but these are actually fantastic, in my opinion. Now, here's my one drawback, and it's not even a drawback. It's just how they were packaged. This is part of Wild Eye's Raw and Extreme label, and it's unrated, and it leads you to believe that it's a lot worse than it is. You have to understand that this was filmed like an after-school special, and they didn't have all that stuff back then. So, unrated? Yes, it's unrated, because it wasn't submitted to the MPAA, I don't believe. But it doesn't kind of fit the unrated category. So, if you're looking for something extreme, this is probably not it. But let me tell you something. Just give it a watch. It's a fantastic film. Very well made. So yeah, definitely check out Runaway Nightmare. I loved it. I thought it was great. Another special thank you to Wild Eye, and if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.